Hi, I'm Cody, Solutions Technician at Candrome. In this video, we will go through the process of breaking down your LiDAR missions in UGCS in order to capture large data sets. We'll be using the Split Route tool in UGCS. The type of drone and LiDAR system used will be the basis for determining how long you can fly. Based on our experience, the Matrix 600 and Green Valley LiDAR S220 can fly approximately 12 minutes with the TV47S batteries. The Matrix 200 with the LiDAR V can fly approximately 18 minutes, while the Matrix 300 with the LiDAR V can fly for approximately 28 minutes. We've accounted for the time it takes to take off, do the calibration, and go to the starting point by subtracting two minutes from the approximate flight time. These approximated flight times will help us determine the maximum flight line length the system will be able to fly and collect data. For example, with a 28 minute flight time on the M300 flying at recommended five meters per second, we can calculate the maximum flight time by multiplying 28 minutes by 60 seconds, which equals 1680 seconds. We then multiply 1,680 seconds by 5 meters per second, which is 8,400 meters. To recap, approximate flight time times 60 seconds in a minute times flight speed in order to calculate your maximum flight length. Keep this in mind as we'll be using it to split the routes. The first thing we want to do is import a KML to define the area of interest. Input your flight parameters for the LiDAR mission and use the area scan tool to draw a mission plan around the area of interest. If you missed the previous video about how to plan a LiDAR mission, you can view it on our channel. So now that we've created a mission, open the Show Elevation dialog. UGCS will give you an estimated duration for your project here. As you can see, this area will take approximately 1 hour and 24 minutes to complete. This obviously is not going to be feasible with one battery set. So now, we'll break down the flight into smaller missions. Start by going into the parameters of the mission. Route to Waypoints, UGCS will create a Waypoint Converted Mission hide the original mission, go back to the parameters of the convert mission, select split route. Here you can either split the route by specific waypoint number or by distance. We prefer to split by distance. You can now input the maximum flight line that we calculated earlier. Disable the converted mission, and now you can see that UGCS has split the mission in three smaller missions, which account for the battery limitations. From here, you'll want to strategically place your takeoff and landing zones so that you are in the middle of the mission in order to keep a visual line of sight. To upload the mission to your drone, ensure that your tablet or smart controller is connected to the same network as your mission planning computer. It's also very important that you have the latest versions of UGCS installed on both devices. In this case, we'll be using the DJI smart controller. Turn on your controller and open up UGCS. Tap the three dots and open route. Find the mission, select it, select each individual mission and verify it loads correctly and that it is saved locally. When you get on location, open the mission, upload the mission to the drone, and you are ready to collect data. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials.